I had this up there for the last day or two on a few things. And <clears throat> it was good, but it has to be over a little bit more because my head's always in the way. That was the one thing that was driving me nuts. The other thing that was driving me nuts is this thing. It was hanging over here, and no matter where the camera is, you see it blowing around because of the furnace. And that's driving me nuts. Yes, it's the little things. So we gotta try to find a place for some of that. There. All right, so we were talking about lights, remember, yesterday? Well, I went out on the porch the other day. Well, well actually the wife went out there about uh, two or three days ago. And uh, she says that the porch light isn't working. Well, we can't have that because where the house sits, our house next door to us and next door to them and on the other side of me, there's no street lights. And the ones that are placed quite a bit away um, are shadowed by trees. So it's important that we have lights on the front of the house. Now I do have some motion ones on each side of the house to go to the front uh, and partial the driveway and such. But I have nothing at the door. Hey, this is this at the door with a motion on it. So if somebody was coming up to the door, it would kick on. So the wife has said the last couple of times she went out to get the mail, she noticed that it wasn't not. It doesn't feel like the screw. I don't think it is. So let's just uh, see what happens here. So anyway, I checked it and sure as shit, it wasn't kicking on. So I go out there and I went up in the attic. Luckily, most of the attic is walkable, but as you get next to the edges, it's not so much walkable anymore, and then you have to start crawling, and this is still acting like there's a screw here or something. Oh, there is one there. Okay. So I remember uh, over the door in the aid area, the overhang, I put a, a small like a one foot by 10 inches uh, little trap door area that you don't even see. And that's what uh, I use to get up in there when I have to. However, yeah, you got to remember that you did these things. And I'm trying to remember what the hell, how did I get up there? So after I figured that out, uh, we were able to get to this. Now, we have both, well, we have AC up here. So that also means that if I need DC, it's not a big deal. Now, why? This doesn't get a lot of abuse. It doesn't get a lot of shake. It's on a solid piece of the house. It doesn't get hardly anything as far as rain. Uh, in order for it to get rain, it would have to actually come across and go up because uh, there's just no way. So the board is in good shape. There's nothing wrong there. This seems to be in good shape. So does that mean that the, the bulbs are just done, they blowed out? Or do we not have any power out there? Now I don't remember. If the uh, power that's out there is the original power. Look at that. It's getting hot here. Uh, when we built, when we built, when we bought the house, it was, and we, you know, we had to remodel it because it was dated. 
uh, which was actually nice. It's one of the reasons why we bought it, because it was dated. And um, so I decided, well, you know, we've got to remodel, we've got to repaint, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. So as long as we're doing all this, uh, let me run more power. More power. So uh, I added extra plugs. Uh, went from a 60 amp service to a 200 amp service. Uh, the box went from here to there. You guys know what I mean. And uh, I said, well, I'm going to add more plugs. So uh, I must have added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, ten. I must have added 15 to 20 outlets throughout the house. And then in the kitchen, we moved the kitchen from one side to the other. Uh, so when we did the kitchen on the countertop, I've got uh, seven plugs, and two of them are ground fault because they're, you're able to touch the sink and, and touch the plug at the same time. So for code, you got to be able to shut it down. And that actually shuts down the one next to it, and the same with the other one. And then those, all of those, are on its own little um, six-banger breaker box. I ran a 30-amp breaker over across the bottom of the house, you know, underneath the, in the basement. And uh, I put another box over there, and everything in the kitchen is tied up to that box separately. So that's kind of like uh, where we're at. So now, when it comes time to do things... Uh, or find things with the older stuff that makes it a little tough. Because of the attic being partially uh, floored, it's tough because it's hard to follow wires. You, you see it way over there where the ceiling comes down or the roof comes down to the floor. So you see it over here, but you don't know where it came from <laughs> because you can't see up underneath there. I don't know if this is the right way or the wrong way, but it should work either way. I should put a, uh, oh, I threw my oil on the floor. That was a nice shot. Nice shot. Throw the cord, cord, throw the cord, cord hits the oil, knocks the oil on the floor. The bottle of oil rolls across the floor. Boy, am I good. I can't just drop it. I got to drop and roll. Let me get a wiring up for that. At least one. Now there's another thing I want to hook up, but I can't find it. Um, what I want to do is uh, find a wireless, a Bluetooth, uh, basically other than power, a uh, wireless, uh, yeah, you know, a cam for the uh, for the uh, computer. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's a push on. All right.
Yeah, when I wired the house, I also wired it so there's a 12 volt outlet in every room. Right in the wall. There's phone outlets in every room. And there's stereo surround sounds in every room. Okay. I had uh, got a nice heat sink on it. Well, well maybe not so nice. When we first bought the house and I was doing all this stuff, I went out and I bought a high-end home uh, surround sound. I, don't know, I think it was seven channel, maybe five channel. I don't remember now. Uh, and I had speakers, you know, uh, appropriate sizes for the area that they were going to be in, so they didn't look out of place, except for the living room and the basement. Because our plan was originally to fix up the basement as well. But uh, we decided, eh, why? Yeah, that is a nice heat sink. Okay, so why isn't this wire doing anything that it's supposed to be doing? Which one is it? Let's see. See, now this is showing red and black, which means I'm thinking that these are 12 volt systems, but I don't know for sure. And this is not going to plug it in backwards. Well, it's working. The sensor is blinking. Thing is, I don't think he's coming through. Hmm. 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 If I can get those tops off, I can plant these inside. Because this, as you can see, is just a hair smaller. And the depth is fine, so this would go right inside, and that would be just right. But anyway, I do need to find, if anybody knows of one, um, a wireless, uh, what you call it, um, webcam. Now how can I get that off? And will it come off? I'm thinking they must have put it, put it on him. Somehow. Well, here we go. Okay, there's the lens. So, see, the lens should turn. 